Welcome back, gamers. Uh, this is episode two of my Back to Maple series. If you guys haven't watched episode one, I recommend you go back and watch that episode to keep up with the progress. Um, so this episode actually contains uh, of my gameplay from day two, three, four, and five because there was not much to recap. A lot of it was dailies. But right off the bat, uh, you guys can see my character. I did end up spending that NX that <laughs> I sold Meso for in Vera. And I got myself a hair coupon and got, <laughs> got the one hair that I wanted. It actually only took one try, so it wasn't that bad. Um, I also opened some premium surprise boxes. You might see the little rainbow trail behind me. That's from the shoe that I got in the box, and I also got this very cute hairband that I'm also wearing. So, like I said, a lot of my clips as well as my stream is basically just me running dailies. Um, I do some bossing with friends daily. Uh, my friend Keaton and Gordon, who also ended up joining my guild actually, along with my friend Alice. Um, but I run my daily bosses with them if they're available and I also do my solo dailies. We have the sweet water accessories from Commercy that we had to do. Like I said before, I want two sets, one for drop rate and one for my main stats. Um, we also run arcane dailies. I realized that at 205, I did unlock a new area. So, uh, one of my friends asked me if I've done that, and I have not yet. I forgot what it's called, but <laughs> apparently it was in my light bulb the whole time. So I need to check that out at some point. I also started doing barrier bossing for reward points because it is nice to have those extra reward points. We can grab ourselves Water of Life to revive our pets. And I have a lot of pets to revive because I have like one more pet to revive on my main as well as two pets on my Kana. And reward points are always nice. You can also get totems with reward points, uh, which is very helpful for training or grinding. Um, and I also started doing Monster Park as per my friend's recommendation. So you get two free monster park runs every day. And if you want to run any more, you can cap at seven per day, which I recommend. So after your two free runs, you want to head over to Cash Shop and search up a monster park. There you'll find extra tickets. You should buy five extra ones. They cost 3.5 mil each, which isn't too bad because you should be getting that money. Uh, from your dailies and nurses. Uh, one of my viewers also suggested that if you want quick runs for Monster Park to not do the last one because they don't give that much EXP anyway, you want to do the Knight's Hall one. Uh, this one is quicker to do, it's less tedious just because a lot of the maps are easier to navigate through and the boss isn't that hard. Once you get 77 runs for every day of the week, I think you get a pretty dope medal. But it also doesn't hurt to grind for the coins because you want that EXP pod, that extra damage pod, the attack speed pod. Those are all good. So on my second day back here, I, uh, I also went to Hennessy's Pet Park just for the fun of it. Like I said, a lot of this game is very nostalgic and I used to love doing JQs. <laughs> so throughout the video you'll see me doing some Hennessy JQ, some Ludi JQ with my friends. That it, it, it's pretty silly. Um, but towards the end of day two on my progressions, I was able to grab some cubes for myself 
uh, from the new event, the Rice Coins event, um, for my rings. I just bought a bunch of cubes for these event rings because apparently they have extra chance of upgrading to the next level of potential, which is what we want. I still need to get my gear to legendary. Um, but unfortunately, of course, once again with my luck, I didn't get anything. <laughs> um, but that sums up my day two adventure. I ended up stalking some friends, hanging out with them. And let's move on to day three. Day three of my stream. Uh, this day was actually all just dailies. I, I don't think um, much happened besides me getting my sweet water accessory because I had enough dineros from Commercy. Um, I did Star Force that. And also, I guess I realized later on that night that I was really close to leveling. So I went on ahead and leveled myself in Scrapyard. And as I was leveling, I was actually doing my weekly Scrapyard quests. Um, someone told me that I should be doing them weekly for my Absolab gear. And I thought this whole time that I didn't do the scrapyard prequest, so I didn't start the weekly dailies until this very moment. I followed this quest guide that listed all of the scrapyard weekly quests in a tier from easy, medium, and hard. You should probably replace the harder quests for us lower levels um, because they may be very hard to do. Some of these mobs are like over level 230. I'll leave a guide link in the description uh, to the guide that I used for this if you guys are interested. But it was nice to kill two birds with one stone. We were able to level up and finish one of our dailies. I didn't get to do the rest because I got very distracted as always. <laughs> but that was the end for day three stream. Now. Day 4, I must say, was pretty eventful as well. Um, I also figured out that I apparently had my Damien and Lotus quest done. I was actually on my Wild Hunter, which was my very first main, and then I realized I could queue up for Damien and Lotus. So I tried to do that on my new main and it actually works. So. I realized that all these hard bosses with prequests, Damien, Lotus, Golux, the prequests are actually now shared throughout your account if you guys didn't know that. And Golux prequests have also been re-ramped and now it's very easy to do. It only takes a couple of minutes. You talk to a couple of NPCs and watch some cutscenes and you're good to go. In case you guys don't know where to find these pre-quests, uh, for Golux, it should show up on the left of your screen here in this light bulb. I don't have it anymore since I've already done it, but you guys should see pre-quests for Golux right there. And as for Damien and Lotus pre-quest, we want to head to Dimension Mirror and go to this conference hall right here and here to the left you'll see this round fatty bird <laughs> you want to click on her and so there's two different storylines black heaven is the prequest for lotus you'll see different acts this actually takes forever black heaven takes three and a half to four hours i believe to do um, depending on how invested you want to be in the storyline. And as for Damien prequests, you want to do Heroes of Maple. For this one, you don't need to do every single act. All you need to do is complete Act 4 and you'll have Damien unlocked. So I say Day 4 was an eventful day because I was able to get Helux and each man carry from two of my guildmates. They were very kind. Um, 
and I also reorganized my inventory which I've been longing to do my inventory has been a mess and I have so many things from like 2017 and 2018 like Valentine's event and Christmas events I don't know why I still have that stuff but I'm a hoarder so maybe they look nice in my inventory and I kept them who knows um, but yeah, that was day four and on day five, which was yesterday, I did not stream because it was Wednesday and I don't stream on Wednesdays, but I was able to start uh, my Kana ring, the treasure ring that everyone says that I should have, but I don't because I never knew of this quest line, but I did start it for a bit, but I, I got kind of distracted. I ended up playing some Valorant instead. And by the way, my Valorant video just came out yesterday. If you guys play the game and enjoy it, um, I made a pretty fun video about it. I used to be Iron 1 and now I'm Gold 3. Okay, I'm getting off topic here. Anyways, <laughs> um, I started on the Connor Ring Quest, didn't get to finish it. But we did end up cubing our vengeful ring. I've been getting cubes from doing dailies and every time I get a couple cubes I will use it on the vengeful ring because I don't have any luck on it and it is very annoying. I keep getting anything but luck on it. But yesterday we also got to do some fun stuff with the guild. We did a guild PQ with Shamwell. I will make this PQ into a full video if anyone is interested. It is my first GPQ ever and it was quite interesting. Um, I was also in the guild discord and there were a bunch of fun guys. But if you guys are interested in that video, I'll be releasing it soon. Um, and like I said, I've been doing JQs so I actually did the Ludi JQ with my friends yesterday it was really fun there's just something about doing jump quests and going back to old maps <laughs> it's just it reminds me of the good days but nexon actually released a patch that you can buy permanent friendship and couple rings and we ended up getting friendship rings and couple rings with our friend group. The people that started playing Maple again with me. Uh, <laughs> it was such a hassle to get the NX, I'm not gonna lie. Because Nexon only takes a certain kind of NX. I think it's prepaid uh, for gift items. And these rings are considered a gift item since you had to technically gift it to your friend after you purchase it. Um, so I ended up having to buy Karma Coin from PayPal and getting a digital code and charging it up and it, it was just it was just too much work and extra money spent. I mean it, it was a fun experience <laughs> just because it was my friends. But anyways, um Towards the end of yesterday, I went back and opened a bunch of event boxes again, but this time instead of for cosmetics, damage skins, or cubes, I actually opened the 30 coin ones. They give you random stuff, it sometimes gives you nodes, cubes, spell traces, whatever. Um, my friend said it was worth it, so I did it, I got, I got a bunch of nodes. Um, I don't know anything about nodes or fifth job so far, so I haven't upgraded anything. I need to look into that eventually, which we will get to. But that is it for today's episode, episode two. I know I condensed a lot of days um, into this episode, but what can I say? Maple is all about dailies, right? So a lot of it is very repetitive. Um, but if you did enjoy this video, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.